Hello, I'm back. It's 8.57 p.m. at night. And, um, I'm thankful and glad to have, um, you know, this hotel for, um, these couple of days. And so... I heard a dense fog and flooding and, um, you know, it will continue to rain until supposedly Saturday morning. So, I mean, it looks like I ended up drinking less than 40 ounces of water throughout the whole day today because of the boil water advisory thing. You know, how can you boil water in a hotel room? So, and then it's raining and my bad weather and everything. My eye is itching. Um, so I didn't mean to do that. My eye was itching. So, I had, you know, just, I mean, like, for dinner, I spent the $13 on dinner, and it was something I didn't want to eat, but it was, like, the only choice, you know, but I don't want to mention it because of the um, perps trying to weaponize that against me, you know. The gang stalking criminals. So they came and harassed me today on YouTube. And I had to keep blocking them. And it's very hard to try to not let them get to me. You know, how could they point out me committing this crime and that crime when they are paid and rewarded to commit crimes? And then, you know, they they have this... Um, ho- fake holier than thou self righteous attitude. Um, you know, and it's very hard. I'm trying my best to not let it get to me, you know, while I'm sitting here fighting to survive. Because after dinner now, um, I only have probably about 90 cents in the bank. You know, so, I mean, as I said, what I ate was um something that, I, it was like the only thing I was able to get, you know, but I'm glad that I was able to eat and, you know, tomorrow morning, the caf I mean I wouldn't say cafeteria the dining area of the hotel it it's probably gonna be closed tomorrow like it's been closed this morning excuse me <clears throat> excuse me so I feel bad that the toilet ended up being stopped up because of not being able to flush the toilet because of the the water being shut off and everything. So the water was shut off at the other hotel earlier this month. And I didn't know about that until the next morning. And I don't know if it had to do with that first freeze. I don't remember. But at that other hotel, I turned on the water and the water was like a whole bunch of orange rust rusty water um that was like two or three weeks ago at one of the other hotels so it looks like I won't have um any money tomorrow and I don't know if tomorrow or Friday or when they will allow us to drink the water. Um, but at the moment, 
<coughs> excuse me. I don't really have much. I don't have. I have just a tiny bit of little water. That's part of the 40 ounces that I mentioned, you know. And after that, after I'm done drinking that. I will have no food or water and no money, really. I have no cash and probably maybe 90 cents in the bank um, after everything gets sorted out. And I went to um, submit some application, job applications on Indeed. And... Um, I found a little, a couple, maybe a couple of opportunities today, but I'm still, um, I'm still trying, you know, as I said, with my disability, um, I have my earbuds in to block out the outside noise, so I can't, I can't even be around noise, and I have certain other disabilities, so... I can't be around noise and that makes things hard and then a lot of people won't hire me because of me being blacklisted due to the gang stalking and also people won't hire me because of they don't even care about you, you having a college degree or being so called overqualified they just um they will condemn you for um Sorry, I wasn't trying to... I, I mean, my eyebrows itching on both sides. Um, They don't even care about you being overqualified or having a degree. But they they um also won't give me a job because of lack of experience. <sighs> Excuse me. Or having, you know, lack of experience or um gaps in, in, in my employment or this issue, that issue. But I'm trying for whatever whatever I could. And that other job that told me that I was hired, it's been two weeks and I've heard absolutely nothing. And I don't know if the weather might have anything to do with it or not. I don't know. So, this is frightening. Um, you know, I really... I mean, when I was abused in foster care and put in the cult, the foster mom used to lecture me about um you know being homeless and living underneath the bridge and then the foster stepdad's daughter tried to tell me that I'm gonna be homeless living underneath the bridge wondering where my next meal and now I'm sitting here wondering not only for my next meal but you know wondering when I will get my next drop of water you know and I don't know which feels worse, either um, being dehydrated or starving or going really hungry and having nothing. And the sadistic gang stalkers want me to suffer like this. You know, so they make it like as if me exposing gang stalking is committing a crime for me to expose their tactics and what they're doing personally to me. But they try to scare me and try to make like I'm committing a crime, but they protect their whole cult. They're loyal and protect their whole cult, but I'm going to keep fighting and keep standing up to them. So, you know, to, today I wish I could have worked on writing um, fiction short stories or writing some more um, fiction short stories but it was difficult it would have been difficult for me to concentrate because of the struggle with survival um with lack of water and food and stuff you know so I'm trying to get help with um, my cash app is you know psych world 35 you know can't do paypal at the moment because of what happened earlier so I'm trying to get whatever help that I can get to survive. 